Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and uh, I've created a few Team Fortress 2 videos on my channel on YouTube and on Buona.tv and other sites and uh, I get questions all the time even in my live chat room about how do I customize Team Fortress 2 what do I do to get the custom skins what do I do to get the custom objects well I'm gonna walk you through that process right now we're gonna install some sample uh, some sample files and just to walk you through the process so you can do it for yourself on your own copy of Team Fortress 2. Now note this only works on the PC version of Team Fortress 2 so if you are an Xbox 360 user or a PS3 uh, user and uh, you have Team Fortress 2 on those systems you can't do this but uh, PC users have been notoriously known for modding so this is one of those times now the site that you do this at is called FPS Banana and this is a uh, can be reached at www.fpsbanana.com but if you want to go directly to the Team Fortress 2 section all you need to do is put a slash games slash 297 that's slash 297 and uh, that is how you'll be able to do this so once you get here you'll see there's several things that we can do we can we can get custom maps there's a ton of maps up here uh... there's also skins which uh... you probably have seen on my on my videos sprites sounds scripts sprays tutorials and strategy uh... for this particular video i may do a couple skins or sprites i'm not going to do maps and sounds and things like that but you can customize all of this stuff it's at your disposal and it's going to be using a lot of the same techniques so the first task there's actually three tasks your first thing you need to do is find what you want to customize second thing you want to do is to install the customization file which in involves extracting the file to a folder the third thing is you want to test it on a server that supports Team Fortress 2 custom skins so let's find something I'm gonna go to um, let's have fun I'm gonna go to skins and uh, over here on the right I see TF2 categories I think I want to change my sniper skin so I'm gonna go to the sniper section and uh, I, I want to see the best what's up here so I'm gonna go to the filter here and I'm gonna sort it by highest rated and we see that the beta style snap sniper is the the highest rated uh, Hawaiian t-shirt that's cool uh, jazz ice snipe ice scope okay that looks okay Gold shades. Uh, let's see. Walmart versus Target. That's cute. That's very cute. Uh, sniper goatee. That's cool too. Uh, so all of these are cool. Here's a Waldo sniper. Where's Waldo? There he is. Let's go to page two. There's. He's got the Eric Cartman glasses. And our dark clothes sniper. So I'm gonna go with that one. Let's go with the dark clothes sniper. Even though I got a 7.88 vote. I kind of like how that looks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a shot and if you look here in the description these the readme notes are important now they, they tell you some things about the file but they also tell you how to install it they tell you where to extract the file and here it says install to steam slash steam apps username team fortress 2 blah 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 what does that mean well here I have a window uh, explore window that means that wherever you've installed steam and, and the default is C program files steam you want to put it in steam apps and your steam ID which in my case is IO buffer and team fortress 2 and then there are some other folders in here so within here it tells you where to put that and uh, that's going to be important when we get to this next step so I've completed step one I found what I wanted to install so let's download that by clicking the giant download link don't be intimidated it, it may look a little bit intimidating to to download these but just look for the green download links once you get used to it it's pretty easy now I recommend that you get a program that supports the RAR archive format uh, I use one RAR uh, you can get whatever you want that supports it um, and uh, you just open it you can save it if you want but I usually open it if I'm going to install it and it downloads it and then it opens it. I haven't registered WinRAR, bad Buana, but uh, I've been using the trial forever. And uh, most of these RAR files, they'll have a README included, but as you saw, the other one didn't. It had it in the description. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to close back a couple pages and see where do I need to put this because it's going to be important. 
So I need to install it to Steam Maps, username Team Fortress 2, TF Materials, Models, and then Player. Okay, so the folder is TF2, Materials, Models, and then Player. That's where I need to install this RAR file. And you can see that there's already a sniper folder here in the player. So what I need to do is take this file from here and put it there. Now I could extract to that folder if I want. I can copy this to the clipboard and control C and c but with this I just like to drag and drop. It's just so much simpler, easier to do. So I'll just go in here and go in here and then I'll just drag and drop and I already have a skin on here so it's probably gonna ask me to overwrite and I'm gonna say yes so now I'll replace that skin with this darker skin now so that's step two I've installed the files and um, I didn't mean to close that that means I gotta have to navigate back to it oh well <laughs> I've installed the files and now the third step would be to go to a server and test it and make sure it works so let's go ahead and do that Hello, this is Buona, and I'm back, and I'm going to go ahead and look and see if my sniper looks like new. Here's the moment of truth, moment of truth. Doc looks good, Doc looks good, and voila, I got a new dark clothes sniper. He kind of matches the Doc. I mean, that's the same kind of a, same kind of skin there. If I were to switch teams, let's see, I'm going to... Uh, Go ahead and switch teams here. And it won't let me switch teams. Probably because I'm the only one on this map. <laughs> that was a funny sound. Okay, so uh, the blue one looks good as well. So I got both the red and blue sniper skins. So let's head back to the desktop. That nah, mission's not going to begin. I'm going back to the desktop, lady. Alright, I'm back on my desktop, and that, that was pretty easy, right? I mean, I was able to get this new sniper skin uh, right on my desktop. Um, and I, I, I extracted it right to my computer, and lo and behold, Team Fortress 2 was able to use it. So that's pretty much what it is. And like I said, it may seem a bit intimidating at first, but uh, this, is a, this is a very simple process. Uh, the, the hard part about all of this is to find something that you like, or something that's going to look cool. And you can find yourself on here for an hour or two trying to go through all these skins. Now let's look at some sprites. Let's do a couple sprites here. Uh, what I can do is let's sort these by uh, highest rated as well so I can see the crim of the crap. Uh, these are NGFX. I believe I already have these installed. The teleporters look a little bit different. We can zoom in on the picture here, hopefully. Yeah, this is one I already have installed. The teleports look a little bit different. Um, so, yeah, that's a good one. I recommend that one. Let's see. Smaller crosshairs, no. Uh, teleporter sprite, nah. Dot crosshairs, dragon teleporter particle. Uh, and there's a one up. There was one that I saw, and I. I don't know if it was here, but uh, let me go back. I, I saw one where they had a, they had uh, Christmas ornaments instead of grenades for the demo. So <laughs> I'm gonna see if uh, I think that's under miscellaneous. Where's the miscellaneous category? Uh, packs other misc. I'm gonna see if that's in here. They got the bombs here and. Uh, Alright, I'm going to sort these by highest rated. So I remember seeing this earlier. Funny Gibbs. That's cool. When people die, they, you see hamburgers and stuff. Um, <laughs> some Mario stuff. It's a sprite. I don't see it. So, let's, I guess we'll do something else then. Let's go back. And, um,. Do sprites and sort them by highest rated. Like I said, this is the part that takes the longest. You saw the install didn't take long. Testing it may take a little while because you have to find something. You have to find a server that that's that's that allows for custom stuff. Turbulent Medi Beam. I have something similar to that already. The shocking Medi Beam. 
So these are medical particle effects. Somebody asked me about that on my channel. Uh, this is this is the one I have, the pinwheel. That looks like the one I have. So if you're looking for a new medic effect, that's one right there. And let's see, the double helix. That's cool. <laughs> Cursing bubbles. And let's get something really nice. Uh, I think I've kind of went through this and got all the cool stuff already. Medi heart heal beam. Heart heal beam. Okay, let's do this one. Um, do I really want to do that one? No, let's do let's do the chemical flame. Let's do the chemical flame. Yeah, this is a flamethrower effect called Chemical Ali, and uh, it looks like it's got the person on fire with chemical death. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do? is I'm gonna go ahead and look at this. Here's the README again, and uh, tells you the files, and it tells you where they're extracted. Materials, TF2, materials, particle, flamethrower, fire. So let's remember that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download that. Let's look for the giant download link. Where is the giant? The huge. There it is. The giant green download link. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Same routine. Let's open it with Win WinRAR. And it's downloading right now. A few seconds remaining. It's 4 megabytes. These files tend to be very, very small. Okay, and cool. This one they actually include the README within the uh, the file itself. Now, if you want to live dangerously, you don't have to navigate all the way down to those folders. You can come all the way up to the top level where the TF folder is, and then you can drag and drop this and overwrite whatever's in there. You got to be pretty brave to do that. So I'm gonna go in here and look and see. And what it'll do is that it'll create the folders for you that need to be created. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it says folder already contains a folder, blah blah blah. Do we want to blah blah blah? Yes, yes, and yes. So now I should have in my TF2 materials. Uh, I don't remember the path. Told me here, TF2 materials particle. I should have flamethrower fire. So now let's go ahead and test that and see if my. Um, Let's go into the picture and see what it's going to look like. See if my flame looks like this now. Let's let's jump in the game. All right, this is Buana, and I'm going to look and see if my pyro has the new effect. And let's see here. It's eh, uh, I'm not too crazy about it. Looks kind of weak. It's just like this green stuff coming out. It's kind of blocky. It's like it needs some work. So yeah, this is probably why it got a low rating. Eh, set some people on fire. Uh, I'm not too happy about that. So let's go ahead and let me teach you how to remove, remove this. <laughs> trial and error, people. Trial and error. Yeah, that didn't turn out exactly how I thought it should. Didn't look like the screenshot. Uh, maybe I need to enable some some settings on the uh, or improve graphical settings. Um, no, they, they didn't say anything special about it. But to remove effects, it's very simple. All you need to do is delete the uh, delete the files that you extracted. I mean, that's all you have to do. It's just delete these files. And uh, they will be removed. So let's go ahead and remove flamethrower fire. So now when I start Team Fortress 2, it's going to use the stock files now. So all in all, that's all it engulfs. That's all it takes. I mean, that's that's all it claims to be. That's all it's going to do. Just need to find something that. Uh, there it is. Gosh. It would pop up. All right, let's go ahead and do it. I, I, no, wait, no, you can't be not found. I, I want you, gear. What happened to the Christmas ornaments? Uh, I want the Christmas ornaments, and they're not there. You. Oh well. 
that's something that I want to install but I guess they, they won't let me install it so all in all that's all you need to know uh, just finding the cool stuff is uh, the hard part getting it on here is very easy very simple and uninstalling it it's very easy and very simple so um, wait a minute see I was gonna wrap up the other link was broken and this one works so let's get some Christmas ornaments <laughs> this is gonna be cool this is what I actually wanted <laughs> So I'm going to open this with one roar. And it has two folders, materials and models. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just going to find those and do my old dangerous overwrite trick. Materials and models. So they all go in this base folder pretty much, the Team Fortress 2 TF folder. If you got that open, I mean, this you can install hundreds of skins just by doing what I just did right now so now let's go in and test it and see if we can get some uh, some ornaments instead of our grenades for the uh, for the demo let's go ahead and give it a shot alright this is born again I'm gonna see uh, if I can do this I'm gonna empty server this time and look at the ornaments they're cute little ornaments that's so Aw, that's so cute. <laughs> They're little Christmas ornaments. Neato Keen. I wish there were different colors, though, instead of not being all red. Okay, I'm the only one on this server, but. <laughs> You get the idea. Let me see if I can get a close-up of one. Yeah. Ooh, critical one. Don't kill me. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, that was that was a pretty big one. All right, back to the desktop. All right, then um, I guess that ornament will have to do. I wish they were red. Wait. Oh, I guess it depends which team you're on. Oh, I should have looked at that so if I'm on a blue team I'll shoot blue ones if I'm on a red I'll shoot red I guess that makes sense alright so this is uh this is all there is to it folks to customize your team fortress 2 for PC again like I said three steps find what you want extract the files and then test it and then uh, you too can have your team fortress 2 looking snazzy for everybody especially when you make videos because well one thing I should note people who don't know this is that the other team won't see these skins only you will see these skins so it's not something that everybody will see. So it's for your enjoyment. So try not to customize these for other people. Customize them for you. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and this is how you can customize Team Fortress 2 for your PC. Enjoy.